Am I filming with my back to a busy road with a highway in front of me in a parking lot for a restaurant where I don't have a reservation for the next hour? Yes. Yes, I am. I cannot begin to tell you how frazzled I am feeling. You probably can't tell. My hair isn't frizzy. It's very short. It's not going to get frizzy. But if my hair was long, it would be pointing in six different directions and none of them would be nice curls or waves. It would all just be insane because I am frazzled. I am overwhelmed. I am drowning almost. Picture yourself treading water when you're safe and comfortable you're treading water, your shoulders are above water, your legs are churning, and you're just floating there with no problems. But sometimes you get tired or you don't float so well and you sink down and the water starts coming up to your chin and it's a little more alarming. Or maybe you are on Survivor and you're on one of those challenges where there's a jungle gym in the ocean and the tide is coming up and it's your job to keep your head under the bars and not drown. I feel like that's where I am, where the water is lapping up to your face and getting ready to choke you and take you out of commission. I am just so busy. So I am trying really hard to keep my head on straight during this time. And there's a couple of things that I'm doing that are helping that I thought I would share. The first thing that is helping me keep my head throughout this is planning. It's not only work that's busy in itself or the work event that's coming up next. It's also the fact that I plan on doing Vlogmas and I need to have Christmas wrapped up before December starts and I need to do all of my work at work and not drop any balls there. Getting myself to a point where I can do all the projects I intend to do in the beginning of December for Vlogmas. So planning exactly how I'm going to get things done. Like, hey, I'm going to look at the gifts that I have purchased and see where I'm lacking and I'm going to address it right away. Hey, I need to take a look at my content schedule for November and make sure that I have at least good ideas that I can roll with and publish so that I'm still posting a video a week. I need to look at my workload at the office and say, okay, where do I need to fill in the gaps? Where do I need help? Do I, you know, work at night? Do, can I delegate more? So planning is a really big help right now. Today, even I was overwhelmed at work and I had so many different things in so many different directions and I was able just to take a minute, make a list, prioritize, attack one thing and then when I was in a meeting where I couldn't attack anything, giving myself the grace to stop worrying about it because my focus needed to be on the meeting. It's like okay I can't do all of these other things that are bothering me that are that are overwhelming me that are in the way that are you know waiting for me basically with people behind them saying when's it going to be done when's it going to be done when's it going to be done I can't do anything about them so I'm going to not worry about them right now I'm getting ready to go to dinner with my family and I can't work late today so I won't work late and I'm not going to feel bad about not being able to work late I just can't avoid it. I'm gonna think about, okay, Saturday maybe I'll have time, Sunday I'll definitely have time, and I'll probably put in an eight hours, an eight hour day on Saturday to get things done. And that's fine. That's when I'm gonna worry about being underwater again. So in addition to planning, another thing that's helping me is faking it. The fake it till you make it phrase. I have found myself dragging my feet, slumping, shuffling, walking slowly when people ask how I'm doing fine or worse a frazzled answer that's like fine but I'm insanely busy so please don't you know what do you need right now so that I can get back to what I'm working on 
those responses do not instill confidence in anyone else. And also it's not helping me. I don't need to amplify my stress. I've got enough. So I found when I was shuffling my way to the copier with my shoulders, you know, deflated and my head kind of hanging and just kind of acting exhausted, I made my copies and I walked back to the office and I was walking a little faster and I was like, you know what, this feels better. So I stood up a little straighter. I made sure my shoulders were straight, my back was straight, and I put a little bit of a smile on my face. Now, do I, was I doing that for anyone except myself? No, did anybody say smile? You think better not, I'm gonna roast them if they do. But just the act of pretending like everything was fine while I was moving from one task to another to faking a good mood uh, was helpful for me. And I realized as I was interacting with other people, if I'm high energy, when I'm interacting with someone, if I'm smiling, if I'm taking the time to listen to them and not trying to rush them through, I do better. I feel better. I think that portrays a better picture to others where they need to have confidence in me and that was really helpful. I am managing expectations, mine as well as other people's. I am making sure that everyone knows who gives me a new task now that I am trying very hard to get everything done before our work event. So they may see emails from me at odd hours of the day, very late, very early on the weekends. And that is just to try so hard to get things done. Whether I'm able to get everything done or not matters, but it, having prepped everyone with the, I am trying my best to get everything done, if something slips through the cracks, people are much likely to be understanding knowing that I was trying my best up until the point at which I had no more time. I do feel like it, it's gonna be no problem to get everything done. The tasks I have feel overwhelming because they're not all in my spreadsheet and all laid out in the, the way I usually keep track of my tasks. But if I take 10 minutes to organize things that way, it will help. So managing expectations of people and any tasks that I get during our work event, which is going to be a four day event, will have to wait. I will be involved. It will be a very busy, very emotionally energized, high energy kind of thing that I'm going to come home from and want to crash. And that's exactly what I'm going to do. So things won't get done while we're in the event, but that's okay. Folks are going to know I tried my hardest before the event and now I'm in the event. I will have an automatic email reply that goes out and says, if there's anything urgent, of course, call the office, let me know. But otherwise I will get back to you when the event is over. I feel like most people are going to respect that. And the folks who don't, I can't do any more than my best. It just doesn't happen. So if I'm giving my 100%, I don't even feel like I need to give my 200%. I just need to give 100% and let the stones fall where they may, the dice, the dominoes, the cards, whatever the saying is, I honestly can't remember. That's how fried my brain is. I was stressed out enough today and I have been more social in the past week than I usually am in the entire month, if not almost year. And emotionally, I, I'm going out to dinner with my family and it's not my immediate family that I live with, it's other family that near, lives nearby. And my son was thinking about coming to the this event, or to this uh, dinner, and he just was on the fence and I said, you know, you had a really good dinner last night, the place got our order correct. I'm not sure what there's gonna be on the menu for you why don't you just call this one out? And he's like, yeah, you know what? Dad and I will figure it out. So I was being a little selfish. I wanted to have this time for myself where I could sit and rest, de-stress, recharge, kind of get my monkeys back in the circus, if you will. <laughs> so that when dinner comes, I have the energy to give attention to people and I'm not yawning the whole time, which, you know, may happen anyway. But I did get as much sleep as I could last night. But yeah, 
So maybe it was a little selfish, but making sure I took time for myself was very important. So I am pushing myself hard. I am trying to get everything done so that I'm not completely overwhelmed and crying in a, in a puddle of stress and crazed expressions. I'm productive and uh, this time to myself is really helpful. So that's the story. I wonder if there's more I could do to kind of stay on top of things. I'm sure there is. I'm sure I could drink more water, drink less caffeine, but the coffee's keeping me going and the egg bites that go with it are giving <laughs> my stomach joy. And it's not that I can't have you know, a bagel with cream cheese and be just as happy. Or, you know, this the Kashi cereal that I bought this week that is delightfully crunchy and with the uh, dried fruit in it that I just I really love it. But, um, you know, sometimes you just gotta splurge. And so I've been splurging just a little bit on food products that keep me going. And um, yeah, so that's what I'm trying to pull myself together. I wonder if you have any ideas or tips uh things that help keep you going when you're stressed and overwhelmed and ready to collapse under the weight of it all venting to friends who aren't directly involved in your exhaustion can be helpful definitely taking time for yourself taking care of yourself making sure you're getting enough sleep drinking enough water getting you know good nutrition getting good exercise that's one thing that's missing from my list i should try to be making you know taking 10 minute walks even every day because that will help refresh and energize me and i may do that after i'm done with this video because i am sitting in the parking lot of the restaurant that i'm going to have dinner at and i'm still let's see 40 minutes early so yeah we'll see what happens Everyone will be here in a little bit, so I will say goodbye. I encourage you, if you enjoyed this content, to like the video. If you would like to see more content like this, subscribe. I put out videos, I try to put them out once a week right now on Saturdays, and I am hoping that that will become a regular schedule if I can't squeeze in a second video every week as well. So yeah, that's it. Have a great evening. Try your best, work your hardest, and uh, bye. Love you. Bye.